Thank you as always to Horitsuba for the scanlations, and stay tuned to the end of the video for some special announcements. After two long months, we're finally back with the 13th chapter of Cardcaptor Sakura, the Clear Card Arc. Let's start with a quick recap. We pick up where we left off at the picnic scene, discovering that the whirlwind we ended on is a new clear card, named Spiral. There isn't much made clear about what it does, but it appears to make walls or cages, so it's probably something like a round form of siege. Later at the house, Sakura is catching up Tomoyo on how the date went, and then she's joined by Akiho for dinner. They both bond over their mutual hatred of cognac, or konyaku, and enjoy a peaceful dinner until a mysterious tribal-looking thing appears and sucks the consciousness right out of Akiho, leaving her presumably in a coma. So I guess this means that the manga finally has its own sleep card. Sakura immediately sets out to capture the card, giving us the first card appearance of Flight, which was introduced in Chapter 10, the thing that aided her in capturing the record. Clamp seems to have forgotten to properly introduce us to this card at the end of Chapter 10 or at the beginning of Chapter 11 when they were discussing record. If these cards have feelings, I'll bet Flight feels just a little snubbed. But flying out the window is the final scene of the manga, and that's where we end the chapter recap. Overall, it really doesn't feel like a lot happens story-wise, but there's a lot to dissect. This chapter sets a record for cards so far, having three prominently shown in the course of the chapter. So the one that we open on is Spiral, and it appears to make walls or barriers, but far more interesting is how it is dealt with. Unlike all the other cards so far, it is Xiaoran who ends up dealing with it. He finds that his traditional elemental magic won't work on the card, prompting him to pull out something we've never seen him use before, and use a conveniently blocked incantation to release it. What is this little glowing ball? We have no idea. But it's more and more to add on to the pile that Xiaoran is being a very bad boy and hiding things from the audience. And more importantly, he's hiding things from Sakura. It is notable though to see that the effect on the ball is the same as the shine effect that's used on Sakura's key when it was given to her, minus anything inside the ball. It could just be a case of recycling manga assets, but since we've already established that Xiaoran is in on this bigger conspiracy, I'm gonna hazard a guess and say that that's probably a little more significant. Next up on cards is this little fuzzy thing that puts Akiho to sleep. We don't have a name or anything to associate with this card yet, though to avoid conflicting with the anime, it probably won't be called sleep. Maybe coma, or rest, or slumber. There isn't much else I can say, but let's look at the form. These cards seem to be getting more and more inorganic and abstract the further along we go. I mean, this thing is literally just a fuzzball that floats along on the wind and knocks people out. It's like a dandelion made out of chloroform. Lastly, we get our first proper introduction to Flight, the butterfly ribbon wing thing that appears in Chapter 10 that helps Sakura catch Record, and is also the least inspired name change of all clear cards so far that are based on an existing cloud card. But despite its uninspired name, that doesn't mean there isn't something interesting about it. Flight, as shown in Chapter 10, is perhaps the most expressive card we've ever seen, and definitely appears to display some level of sentience, at least as far as the clear cards go. It has a personality and a playfulness that hasn't been observed in any of the other clear cards. Look at all these hearts! It even gives her a hug! This card definitely has a soul. Before I move on, can I just ask, am I the last person to notice that the clear cards don't have a THE in the name of them? I've been saying THE Record or THE Gale, but actually all cards are just their name. It's just Spiral. Just Flight. I noticed early on that all the clear cards are double kanji words, but I never noticed the lack of a definite article in the English part the part whose language I am fluent in. Good job, me. The bulk of this chapter is more time spent with Akiho, which is something I'm all for as she slowly becomes my new favorite character in the series. We continue to peek into Akiho's home life, finding out that she admires Sakura's resourcefulness compared to her own dependence on the people who look after her. Akiho is a typical rich kid who clearly hasn't needed to do things for herself, but instead of being spoiled, it leaves her unfulfilled. We also find out that Akiho has feelings for Kaito, but probably can't express them due to their differing social status. Or, you know, their age. Let's close out looking at the art again. Has Clamp always filled in their empty space with so many flowers? I mean, I guess in the clear cards they have been around plenty. They were occasionally used in the anime too to represent good feelings in the characters and happiness. And that's present here too, since they appear in all of the Sakura and Akiho bonding time and disappear as soon as the new sleep card appears. In terms of outfits, Sakura is still wearing the outfit that she wore on the date, periodically losing the sweatshirt on top, and Akiho continues the trend of simple but cute outfits. I can't tell if it's a drawing shortcut or not to keep her in such simple styles, but I really like it. So that's it for the clear cards, chapter 13. Before we go, I have a few last minute things. A couple weekends ago was Anime Expo, and sadly I didn't get to go, but it was the debut of the OVA that will come with a third issue of the manga. And I bring this up because July 14th is the last day that you can pre-order that manga set that includes the DVD. So get going! And now that that's out of the way, here's another special announcement. Surprise! Hello everyone, 
I'm CZ Amato. I am the face behind the voice that you've been hearing for the last several months. I was checking the channel a little while ago and I realized something interesting. I've hit 100 subscribers. First off, thank you to the 100 of you that have watched my videos and felt that I was worth coming back for another viewing. That is amazing. I'm not really sure I ever expected to get as far as this just putting up a few of these silly videos to begin with, but I am very appreciative of the fact that you all thought that I was worth it. So since you all decided that I'm worth subscribing to, I figure I need to take the next step as a YouTuber and actually introduce my face. I know there are still people that get by with doing the no face thing, but I just, I don't feel I'm talented enough to do the no face thing. So the channel is still going to be card capture focused. I'm still going to do voiceover for all the manga chapters because that just tends to be easier and that format works better, but I might be doing a little more of this FaceTime kind of videos for uh, things that are products. For instance, uh, I'm going to be doing another Nakayoshi items video. I've built up a lot of them in the past few months, so I'm going to do another one of those. I'm still going to mostly stay with card capture stuff, but I figure I might branch out a little bit and try a few other things because I do have other interests. You can tell by the top shelf here. So once again, thank you very much for 100 subscribers. I'm going to do my best to keep this channel watchable, especially with the new format. I hope that this is worth looking at and coming back to and watching, or whether or not it was just my voice that you liked. Unfortunately, the, the, the recording space is still a little new, so I am working on making it better for videos. But for now, we're just going to work with what I have. I actually invested in a new microphone for this manga video, so now I'm using a lovely... Uh, black snow globe microphone it's actually you know proper for recording before i was using a headset and the audio quality was fine but i'm hoping that it'll be noticeable that in this video it was better so thank you very much for watching this video and i hope to see you in another video soon and now that i'm on camera i really feel like i need a better closing statement but for now i guess i'm just gonna go with my normal bye